What's happening guys, my name is Andrew Gillard, welcome you to our second player in our Silver Star series and you should know the drill by now as last week we did have Lukaku but let's, uh, I'll re uh, reiterate it for you, it's a nice word uh, We will take a great or amazing Silver player, we will then build a squad around the player, pick a formation that is suited to the player then do a review on the squad and the player in general also then at the very end show the highlights of the goals and depending on the player could be saves or important tackles. So this week we've got Wilfred Zaha. Uh, Zaha is an all-round decent player. He's got 86 pace, 81 dribbling. He cost me 8,100 coins. Uh, 12 games he's played. He's actually played 10 games for me. Six goals scored. Uh, not as good as last week's player, Lukaku. If you haven't seen Lukaku, then I'll go back and watch it. There will be a link uh, in the top-hand corner. I will probably put up there. He's got skill moves of the four-star rated. Weak foot is free, and he's right-footed. He's 5'11", he was born in 1992. That's an overview on the player. He's very much a good rounded player. He can score some nice goals, but you know, he's not that amazing. So what happened was the subscriber said, do Wilfred Zaha, so I accepted the challenge. So if you guys have any players, leave a comment down below, and I will straight away do that player. We've got the legitimate bronze bench, and he is not the most expensive player. The most expensive um, player in the team is, in fact, our goalkeeper, and he is... Adam Bogdan, amazing player, uh, you'll see there, he has got uh, 77 diving, 80 reflexes, and 73 kicking, 75 positioning, and he's an all-round ginger wizard, he cost me 50k, that was the cheapest in the position, that was the only posi one in that position, uh, he's played uh, 10 games for me, and you know, he's not scored a single goal, but he has keep kept a few clean sheets, in fact, he saved us um, from losing a few matches, and he's such a good goalkeeper, you know, if you're building a, um, a team, in the championship, I would advise p putting him in if you're making a Hungarian team. You know, you can get the normal one, but you know, inform Bogdan, absolute star. Um, so you know, he he is such a good player. Right back, we've in fact got Mears, Tyro Mears, great player again. Cost me 1,400 coins. Could have got someone better, but you know, look, he's got good pace, good defending, and good passing. He's, when he's on the ball, he's so good. And you know, 10 games, no goals, but what do you expect? He's very good at crossing. And he links up well with the rest of the players. In centre-back, we've got in for Matt Connolly. And, you know, I like to go for them good players. And, you know, we've got Connolly for 18k. Great player again. He's got. He's all right. I just really wanted to try him out because I couldn't see any, another, um, any other amazing defenders. And, you know, he, he looked like he could slot into the team quite well. Um, then we have Zakuani. I normally go for 70 or over rated players. But this guy had the 80 pace and 74 heading. You know, I just had to try him out. Two, um, 2,700 coins. He's, scored, uh, he's played 10 games, hasn't, no defenders haven't scored any goals, but you know, he is a very good player as well, very solid and very pacey. Left back, we've got Olsen, Mar um, Martin Olsen, uh, the Burn, uh, Blackburn player, he's played 10 games and he scored one goal for another team, but no, no goals for us, and you know, he's a very good player again, he's left footed, so he's playing down the left and he's running, look at them stats, so 85 pace, 71 defending and 72 passing, another all round good player, and our midfield is very solid. Then we come here to the next man. We have got Josh McEachran. Our midfield is our solid, uh, most solid part, I think, of our team. Uh, he's got some great stats, Josh McEachran. Look at them. 70 pa 76 passing, 76 dribbling, 76 passing. You know, he's very much the dominant force, and he can score some absolute crackers. He scored four goals for us and played ten games. He's only scored two less than um, uh, Wilfred Zaha, but, you know, our whole team can score goals, especially the man in the middle, and that's Fahi. Fahi, I can't. Key Fahi, I think that's how you pronounce it. Look at that. 75 passing, 71 dribbling, 71 shots, 73 passing. How is this guy not rated? Because of that kind of 74. He could be a goal player, like a, a, a bad goal player. But, you know, him being silver is, makes him a lot better. Uh, look at that one goal, and that goal I move is going to be in the highlights. Absolute cracker. Lovely player. I like, it. I like him a lot. And then you might have seen him, the big man, Austin. He has got absolute beast stats. Look at them stats. When I saw him, I just thought, knew I was going to have to have him. He is so strong, so fast, such a good shot. One of the best all-round players I've used in the game. 78 pace, 70 shooting, 70 passing, 71 heading, 70 defence, 72 defence. All above 70 apart from dribbling, but that doesn't matter because he doesn't hold on to the ball for too long. He holds the ball, passes it, makes space, and he's there. And he is just such a crucial player. And then we have got... Our left wing, and there was no other man for the job apart from Mr. Max Phillips. What a what a player he is! He's a very good player. 
you know, he was quite disappointing in the end for me. He didn't because he didn't he didn't um, score as many goals. He was more of a poacher, but he was very good. He made runs down the wing. He was always there, always involved. Look at that four star skill mode, four star weak foot. What a player! Ten uh, ten games, six goals. Same as Zaha, but I preferred Zaha out the two. And our striker is in fact Nathan Delfonso. You know, he was probably the most disappointing player of all. He scored nine goals in ten games. But, you know, I didn't really enjoy him that much. He scored goals, but to be honest with you, I think the best player in the team by far. In fact, had to be Austin, so it's a bit of a shocker. 90 pace, 77 dribbling, 70 heading, and, you know, that was it. He was pretty good in the air, but he was silver. And we won the silver tournament with this team like we did with the other one. I don't know why I just backed out of this. We'll go back. Uh, this team, in general, is an absolute amazing team. Uh, my record is we played 10 games. I did play 8 games, but I didn't record 2. So in the eight games, in fact, uh, we had won, I believe we won six, drew two, lost one. And, you know, that was absolutely perfect by my standards. A couple of draws doesn't really offend me. Uh, I have a notepad down with all the results. So at the moment, our top player of the series is Roman Lukaku. Second place will be Zaha. Who will be third place? Or will Zaha be knocked down to third place? Next player, I've got in, the, I've got in mind. You guys, I vote, uh, leave a comment down below on who you would like to be for episode number four or player number four so this is the end guys i'd like to say thank you guys for watching my name's otg and i will now let you guys enjoy the clips and the goals so remember to subscribe like and i'll see you guys next time